them uh, in. Okay. So, uh, so good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining this online contest matter seminar. Uh, so I'm going to be the host today. Um, it is our great pleasure to have. Sorry, I'm muted. Oh, holy, hello. Somehow I was mute by myself. Okay, so it's, it is our great pleasure to have Professor Jin Feng Jia from Shanghai Zhao Dong University to give this uh, um, online contest matter physics seminar. So before we start, let me give a very brief introduction about uh, Professor Jia. Um, he's currently a chair professor and also vice dean of the School of Physics and Astronomy of uh, Shanghai Zhao Dong University. He graduated from Beijing University uh, in 1987 and then received his PhD in, in contest matter mm -hmm. physics from the same university in 1992. And then he worked as a postdoc uh, in Institute for Material Research at Takoku University, Japan from 1995 to 1996. And then since then, he worked in Beijing University uh, Department of Physics for a while. Um, he, was, he actually received the uh, 100 Talents Project by Chinese Academy of Science. Uh, basically, it's a, it's a very prestigious uh, young talent uh, program. Uh, developed by Chinese Academy of Science, which has become uh, very famous. Okay, and uh, he worked in Tsinghua University Department of Physics uh, from two, 2006 and 2009, and then become a uh, uh, Changjiang professor at Department of Physics, Shanghai Zhao Tong University since uh, 2009, ever since he, he stayed there. Uh, professor Jia's research is mainly on, uh, you know, experimental quantum matter physics, his main interests uh, include topological uh, superconductors, new quantum materials, uh, quantum phenomena in low dimensional nanostructures, uh, so on and so forth. He has published you know, uh, 200, over 260 papers, many of those in nature science, uh, nature science families, PRL, so on and so forth. He's uh, highly cited. Uh, he was uh, selected as a highly cited researcher by uh, Claire Rivet and Analytics in 2018-2019. He received many national, uh, international awards. So I'm not going to uh, this more uh, here. So today, uh, Professor Jia uh, is going to discuss uh, topological superconductors and the Majorana zero modes, and which you have probably you have seen many uh, exciting work by his group. So Professor Jia, I'll pass this uh, microphone to you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, first of all, I would like to thank Ben and Xihua for invitation. Uh, today I will talk about the uh, topological uh, shift conductor and the manual zero mode. Uh, here is the content of my talk. Uh, yeah, first I will give a oh, sure. uh, short in introduction, then I will talk about uh, uh, how to make this uh, topological superconductor by proximity effect. Then I will focus on how to detect the uh, manual zero mode. Uh, finally, I will talk a little bit about the uh, possible uh, way to, to topological uh, qubit. Yeah, uh, Manuel Femia, uh, maybe uh, all of you already hear about that. Uh, it, it was uh, first proposed by uh, Professor Manuel in 1937. Actually, it's, it's uh, 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 a part of particle physics uh, content and uh, uh, we know that every particle has its antiparticle. Uh, normally, uh, particle and antiparticle are different uh, particles. But uh, uh, Manuel uh, proposed uh, if the particle and antiparticle is the same, uh, yeah, this kind of particle we call the Manuel uh, Fermion. Actually, major, uh, he proposed the neutrino could be a uh, major, major female. Uh, but uh, uh, particle physicists are still working on that. Uh, this uh, has not been uh, proven. Uh, 
uh, and uh, this uh, actually this uh, mineral failure is very important for for particle physics. It's even uh, uh, this kind of mineral uh, uh, particle could be a, a candidate for for dark matter uh, uh, particles. But, uh, Actually, in, in condensed matter physics, uh, we borrow this kind of uh, idea. Uh, we, we, we are trying to find a, a so-called manual zero mode. It's a quasi particle. It's not a real particle. Uh, this uh, quasi particle uh, uh, have a similar a property of manual failure, so we call this uh, manual zero mode. Since this one is uh, new physics, and also this manual zero mode can be used for this topological uh, quantum computing, so it's it's a hot topic recently. Yeah, uh, here I borrowed a, a cartoon from. Uh, uh, Frank Wilczek's uh, paper uh, to, to, to show how, how can we find the uh, manual zero mode in in condensed matter system. Uh, in condensed matter system, uh, what we have is electrons, uh, but we have an uh, antiparticle that's a hole. A hole is uh, a uh, a quasi particle, but it's uh, uh, anti particle of an electron. But uh, they are not the uh, uh, same since uh, an electron has a negative charge, a whole is positive charge. So they, they are totally different. So they, they, are, they cannot be a uh, manual uh, mo uh, uh, particle. But uh, in, in superconductor, the difference becomes uh, smaller. Since uh, in superconductor, we know all electrons are uh, paired. We call them group pair. And uh, in superconductor, an electron can be right as a whole plus a uh, uh, pair. And uh, in Superconductor, uh, pair, the number of group pairs is not conserved, so you can add a lot of group pairs left side and the right side. And uh, these group pairs can uh, screen the nature of the electrons and the holes, uh, the charge nature. So uh, this electron uh, looks uh, neutral. So in, in, in another word, in, in, in superconductor, the hole and the electron looks the same. Uh, it looks uh, particle and antiparticle. Uh, yeah, very similar uh, to the uh, manual uh, uh, female. But if we consider the electron and the hole has a spin, uh, both of them have, have spin. So in normal superconductor, the, the electron and the hole, they have opposite spin. So, so uh, they are still not uh, uh, manual zero mode, not a manual. So uh, that's why we, we need a topologic superconductor. In topologic superconductor, the spin of this electron and the uh, hole is the same. So we have to make a, a Project superconductor so that we can find the uh, manual zero mode. Uh, yeah, uh, actually, a topologic uh, superconductor uh, uh, have been proposed in theory for a long time, but uh, it's difficult to find the a real one in in in, in superconductor uh, in real material. Uh, in 2008, uh, Liang Fu and Charles Kane proposed that we can make a, 
uh, we can put a ship connector on top of a topological insulator uh, substrate. Then by this uh, proximity factor, we can make this topological surface state ship connecting. Uh, this uh, uh, ship connector uh, looks like a uh, topological ship connector, looks like a PGR. A P plus IP ship connector. It's a kind of a topological ship connector. Then, if we apply a magnetic field, then at the center of vortex, we can find this uh, manual bound state or manual zero mode. And this in this when manual bound state appears uh, as a zero energy mode. So we also call the manual zero mode. Uh, yeah, uh, as they proposed, we, we, we can put a uh, wave ship connector on top of a topological insulator uh, substrate, but this one. Uh, Difficult to be uh, achieved since, uh, uh, as we know, the topological insulator, uh, those, these materials normally they are not very uh, stable. If you heat uh, this uh, substrate uh, above to uh, 300 degrees C, they, they will decompose. Also, if we we put uh, this lead, niobium, aluminum, this kind of uh, element uh, ship connector on top of uh, this material. They will react with tellurium or cellurium since they are very active, uh, just like oxygen. If we, we put this niobium selenide or niobium uh, sulfide, uh, we need a high temperature uh, to make them crystal. So. Uh, but this substrate uh, cannot, uh, uh, yeah, uh, bear this kind of high temperature. Also, another uh, difficulty is if we put ship connector on top of uh, topological insulator, uh, this kind of topological ship connector is at the interface, but this. Uh, up a ship connect, uh, uh, screen everything. We cannot uh, detect or study this uh, topological ship connect at the interface. Now uh, we know we have a lot of surface sensitive technique, but uh, uh, for study interface, it's, it's very difficult. So we decided. Uh, uh, Yeah, uh, before uh, we start uh, studied our work, we have a lot of experience on this kind of topological uh, insulating film growth. We have a lot, uh, we can grow this very high quality uh, topological insulated thin films. And we did a lot of study on this kind of topological insulated thin films. So we, we decided to make this topological chip connector by another way. Yeah, our way is, is uh, uh, yeah, also simple. We use ship connector, as well ship connector as a substrate. Then we grow uh, uh, topological insulator thin films on top. Uh, if we can control the thickness of the topological insulator thin film and make the app uh, topological surface state ship connecting, this is also a topologic ship connector. Uh, uh, but the, the, the advantage is this topologic ship connector is at the interface, at the surface. So we can study uh, uh, this kind of uh, things uh, using our surface sensitive technique. Also, we, we, we select a very special ship connector, uh, an album cellular, since uh, this one. Uh, itself is a selenide. Uh, it won't uh, react uh, with bismuth selenide, bismuth selenide. Also, uh, this one is a layer structure, so we can form very sharp uh, uh, in face. 
Yeah, actually, uh, in 2012, we succeeded, uh, succeeded in growing uh, Christmas satellite on top of uh, Naabim satellite. And uh, by RPAS, we can see if the, uh, this, uh, if the same film six and six quantiple we can see this uh, uh, drug structure, drug, uh, this topological surface state forms. And uh, uh, using our low temperature, we can see this uh, super connect gap. So uh, by putting topological insulated thin film on top of a super connected substrate, uh, we can we can make uh, this super connectivity and the topological surface state all exist. Uh, and uh, to study the major mode, we we decided to change it uh, for another system. Uh, it's much terrible on our satellite. Uh, the reason uh, is for this uh, it's much terabyte. Uh, uh, we only need a two, three quantum layer. This uh, this material become uh, uh, logical. But for bismuth satellite, uh, we need a six quantum layer. Uh, that's, uh, so at this thickness, the, 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 the proximity factor is already very weak. Uh, here we can see for two quantum layer uh, bismuth telluride, we, we only get this featureless DIDV curve. But for three quantum layer thin uh, uh, film, we got this U shaped DIDV curve. And uh, this, this curve is very mm -hmm. similar to this uh, DIDV curve from five quantum layer or six uh, 20 quantum layer uh, film. And uh, we, we and now this can this point is the, the bottom of connector connecting band. This way, this point uh, is, is top of valence band. Here, this this point is the uh, direct point. And another reason is. Uh, uh, for uh, this bismuth terrain, uh, by controlling the ground temperature, we can control the BB surface, BB level. Uh, since BB level is very important for, for, for detecting minor zero mode. You can see here, when the ground temperature is low, uh, 560 Kelvin, we got a very N-type uh, uh, the idea um, an uh, n type uh, film. You can see the the the, the female level cutting the the, the 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 bottom of connecting band. Uh, but uh, uh, if we increase the temperature, we can see female level move down and down. If we grow the the the, the Film at uh, 630 Kelvin, you can see we, we got a very key type uh, uh, film. Yeah, the film energy almost at the, the valence band. And uh, uh, on this kind of film, up to 11 quantum layer, we can still see a small ship connect gap. You can see here. And uh, for the Subtract and the first two quantum layer film, uh, we can use the uh, BCS formula fitting the, the ship length gap perfectly. You can see the dark one, uh, black one is the experiment data, and the red one is uh, fitting. You can see the agreement is, is uh, almost perfect. But uh, for three quantum layer film, you can see the, the error become large. Yeah, the reason is uh, things uh, the for three quantum layer film, the, the topological surface data uh, forms. If they become uh, uh, connecting, they will also contribute to this gap. So we cannot use uh, uh, one BCS. Uh, gap fit this uh, this uh, data, yeah, but uh, for three quantum layer bismuth sera, you can see uh, this uh, insert uh, the agreement is still quite good. 
go by this comparing, we, we can conclude this uh, uh, for three quantitative uh, Christmas steroid, the topological surface state is, is ship connected. So that means we have uh, a full gap uh, topological uh, ship connected. Since uh, this full gap is very important, uh, since uh, uh, if uh, you, 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 you don't have a full gap, this measure mode will not be perfectly uh, packed, then you cannot use this kind of measure mode to do uh, uh, logical quantum computing. Uh, shortly after our paper was published, uh, uh, Hassan a uh, group and a uh, leading group in Penn State uh, uh, this work uh, they grown bismuth selenide on niobium selenide and uh, they're using very low temperature upper directly observed the the, the, the super gap on the surface state uh, uh, you can see here for three quantum bonnet uh, film, uh, you can see the, the chip cutting gap at the, the surface state. Uh, for seven quantum bonnet film, uh, you can see a very tiny chip cutting gap on uh, both bark uh, state and the surface state. Yeah, so that means uh, yeah, by this proximity factor, we can make the topological surface state ship connect. Now I will uh, move to uh, how to detect this manual zero mode. Uh, before we, we detect manual mode, we have to know some features of this uh, manual zero mode. Yeah, one feature I already mentioned is zero energy. This uh, uh, major zero mode is always uh, have zero energy, uh, but they have uh, also some other features. One is uh, uh, they have some uh, spatial distribution. They are not uh, a point. Uh, uh, actually, in yeah, according to this PRB paper, they did. Uh, uh, calculation for this ship connector topological insulator and the ship connector uh, sandwich structure. And they conclude this uh, manual, uh, the wave function of this manual mode uh, have this cone-like uh, 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 distribution. The, 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 yeah, the size of this cone could be uh, as large as 40 nanometers. Yeah, also this manual mode has a spin, uh, uh, yeah. And uh, this uh, Patrick Lee and, uh, and Katie Law proposed uh, we can use uh, this, uh, due to this uh, spin, they can induce this equal spin and refraction. Uh, yeah, we, we know that if we induce, uh, inject an electron to a ship connector, and uh, a hole will be reflected. Uh, we call this angular refraction. But uh, if uh, you inject an electron to uh, topological ship plant with manual zero mode, uh, the situation uh, is different. Uh, if the spin of this electron is the same as this manual zero mode, you got a hole back uh, with the same spin. Uh, with, uh, yeah, you still can see this uh, energy full reflection. But uh, if uh, the spin of this electron is different, is opposite to this uh, manual zero mode, this electron will be uh, reflected uh, directly. So you cannot see this uh, energy full reflection. Uh, so this is called uh, equal spin energy uh, reflection. They're proposed by this kind of uh, elective equal spin angular free fact. You can you can uh, detect manual zero mode. Yeah. So uh, at least we know this kind of manual zero mode in the vortex has this three kind of features. One is zero energy. 
when is this uh, home like uh, uh, spatial distribution? Uh, also, they have uh, uh, spin selective angular free reflection. So, if we claim we find the uh, manual zero mode, we have to see all of them. Yeah, actually, at the center of vortex, we, we did see this kind of zero bus peak, but uh, uh, we, we cannot uh, claim this one is, is due to manual zero mode. Since uh, even in normal uh, vortex, there are a lot of uh, bound states. Uh, this bound states is very close to, to zero energy. So, so if your energy resolution is not good enough, you will see a, a peak uh, at zero energy. Uh, even we have uh, manual mode, uh, these bound states are still there, uh, and uh, their energy is very close to, to uh, this bound state, very close to manual mode. Uh, so we cannot, uh, uh, it's very difficult to, 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 uh, uh, to distinguish them. And, uh, uh, yeah, in our case, uh, uh, the, the energy gap between them is only 0 0.03 milli EV. Yeah, it's uh, much smaller than the energy resolution of our STM. So it's difficult to, to, to use uh, energy resolution to, to, to detect them. Yeah, it's very difficult. Uh, yeah, to detect them directly by uh, STS. Yeah, how to yeah, solve this problem. Uh, we did this magnetic field dependent uh, measurement and we found that uh, when on the thick film, when we apply a small magnetic field, we got a very big uh, intensity of this zero bus peak. When we increase the magnetic field, uh, we found uh, uh, after uh, 0.18 Tesla, this intensity dropped abruptly. Uh, yeah, after this, uh, the, the intensity is only a quarter of uh, this uh, yeah, intensity at low uh, magnetic field. Yeah, actually, for S wave shield connector and on signal film, this intensity of zero bus peak tend to change uh, with magnetic field. You can see uh, for uh, now beam signal, we increase the magnetic field from 0 0.0 to 5 tesla to 1 tesla. This intensity tend to change. And also from for this three quantum field, this was intensity also then change. So we think at this low magnetic field case, when uh, we have a high intensity of zero bus peak, we have a contribution from manual zero mode. Also, we studied the spatial distribution of this zero bus peak. Uh, what we did uh, is like this. At the center of vortex, we only see a uh, zero bus peak. Then we move our STM tip from the uh, vortex center to the, uh, the edge. And we found that this peak become broader and broader here on the one peak split into two. And if we move forward, this splitting become bigger and bigger. And uh, we can redraw this data uh, in this uh, uh, color image. And we use this uh, small red cross replants this uh, peak. Uh, then we use two dot line uh, collect these peaks. And we found that these two lines meet at the center of vortex. Uh, that means this peak split uh, uh, at the uh, uh, start from the center of vortex only uh, after a distance away uh, uh, our STS our instrument can can tell out this splitting uh, that's about uh, 20 nanometer away 
from center, then the split is become uh, big enough. Then we can see the split. For one quantum layer film, two quantum layer film, and three quantum layer film, the situation is the same. The, the, the two line meet at the center of vortex, and the splitting is uh, begin, beginning from the center of vortex. And uh, after about uh, 20 nanometer away, we can see the, the, the splitting. But the situation changes from four quantum layers. You can see this two line meet at uh, 10 nanometer away from the center of vortex. And the five quantum layer, uh, the two number nine meet at uh, 15 nanometer away. And the six quantum layer, you can see the midpoint is almost 20 nanometer away. So uh, if we summarize the, our measurement uh, here, you can see uh, a clear uh, uh, transition from all uh, quantum layer field. This kind of zero by split, splitting starting point change uh, has never been observed on S-wave ship connector. So we think that this kind of things is also related to major zero mode. Yeah, uh, how to understand uh, this kind of uh, things? Actually for S-wave ship connector, this kind of uh, zero by peak splitting is already uh, well understood. Uh, for this Nabium satellite, you can see uh, at the center of vortex, we can only see a uh, peak. Uh, but uh, a distance away, uh, there's a little splitting too, and uh, so you move, uh, uh, yeah, far away, the splitting become big and big. Yeah, but uh, if we have a manual mode in, in the center of vortex, the situation is uh, more complicated. Uh, we have to add a, a peak uh, contribution from manual mode uh, to this zero bus peak. Uh, that means at the center of vortex, uh, we need to add a, a big peak a uh, distance away, we add a smaller peak since at a distance away, you can see this uh, uh, direct cone, uh, this cone structure, the contribution from manual mode becomes smaller. Uh, and uh, if uh, distance become large, then the contribution from manual mode be becomes smaller. You can see we have add a small uh, peak. Uh, so, if we add uh, this three peak together, the situation is exactly what we observed at uh, the center area when the, the contribution from manual zero mode is large. So we cannot see the splitting of this uh, zero watt peak. Only uh, a distance away when the, manual, the contribution from manual mode become smaller and this splitting become larger enough, then we can see the splitting again. Yeah, so that's uh, exactly the, the, the story we observed at the center area. When the manual zero mode contributes a lot, we cannot see split, only a distance away, we can see the, the manual mode uh, again. So this one is uh, a strong evidence for existence of manual zero mode. Here is a summary of our measurement. Actually, on S wave ship connector, uh, we can see this, uh, this zero bus peak always split from center of vortex. Uh, and uh, for signal film, uh, same situation. Only for thick film, when we apply uh, a lower magnetic field. We can see this zero watch peak uh, split from a distance away. Yeah, we think uh, there we have a uh, contribution from manual mode. But if we increase the magnetic field to 0.25 Tesla, this uh, splitting goes back to zero. Uh, here, the, the, the contribution from manual mode are gone. So we can. Uh, 
were cutting along zero energy uh, for this two case. Yeah, we got two lines. One uh, at uh, this one at a low magnetic field, we have contribution from manual zero mode. This one has uh, a large uh, at a large ma magnetic field. We we don't have uh, manual uh, contribution from manual zero mode. So we can subtract this line from this one. Then we got uh, this magic uh, special distribution for this uh, manual zero mode. But this one is only uh, around one, one direction. Then we can uh, rotate this line along this y, y axis. Then we got this uh, uh, magic uh, uh, distribution, special distribution of this manual mode. We can see this this structure. This agrees quite well with this calculator uh, special distribution of uh, this manual mode. Uh, actually, shortly after our work was published. Uh, uh, Joe Hu uh, from Japan uh, visited our group, and uh, after that, they, they, this calculation, they, they calculated five quantum layer topological insulator on superconductor substrate, and uh, they found that if the Fermi uh, energy is uh, in the in the we have two. Hello? I, I actually I missed some visitor in in the in the team, so probably the noise is from there. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, if, if the female level is in the gap, then we have uh, this two kind, two uh, manual zero mode. But if the female level in the uh, connecting band, uh, then we only have uh, this kind of normal vortex. And uh, also, if we have manual zero mode, we got this Y shape splitting. Uh, if we, we don't have manual zero mode, we got this V shape splitting. So this uh, agrees with our uh, S, uh, management, STM management. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, finally, I will talk about this spin selective and ref reflection. And actually, we can use uh, this spin uh, polarized STM to. to inject uh, the electron uh, uh, with the same spin as the manual mode to, to the vortex. Uh, then we will got a hole back. Uh, in this case, we lost the uh, electron and got a hole. That means we, we got a, a large conductance case. Uh, but if we inject the electron with opposite spin, this electron cannot go inside. Uh, so we got a low conductance case. So we should uh, can uh, tell out this uh, case. Uh, again, on this thick uh, film and at the center of this vortex, when uh, this tip uh, spin M is the same as uh, the magnetic field, uh, we got a, a very high intensity of this zero bias peak. But if this tip spin is opposite, this uh, uh, intensity drops a lot. Yeah, uh, when we are uh, opposite the, the magnetic field, the same situation, when the tip spin is the same, we got a high intensity. The opposite, we got a, a small intensity. And if we move a tip, our tip, uh, uh, like uh, 10 nanometer away, we cannot see this spin-dependent uh, phenomena. 
uh, and uh, in uh, our case, uh, we only have uh, max field, uh, topology insulate thin film and superconduct substrate. We we have no uh, magnetic uh, material in this uh, uh, measurement, and uh, also we only apply uh, quantum wind Tesla magnetic. We cannot uh, polarize every, um, uh, the material. So this kind of spin dependent phenomena can only be. Uh, explained by this uh, being selective and refraction um, induced by manual zero mode. And uh, uh, Fu Chun Zhang has passed uh, this model calculation. Uh, and they found that there is no manual zero mode at the center of vortex. Uh, no matter what kind of tip you use, you cannot. Uh, uh, the two kind of, uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, peak should be the same. Only uh, in the case there is a manual mode at the center of vortex, the, 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 uh, yeah, uh, you can see the difference with uh, this spin polarized tip. And uh, you can see here is uh, the accurate simulation. Yeah, here is uh, our. Uh, experiment, you can see the agreement is quite good. And also with some uh, comparison uh, measurement, uh, we can see on this signal film, we cannot see this uh, uh, spin polarized uh, phenomena. And uh, on this S wave shift connector, yeah, we cannot see this kind of things. And uh, even on this C film, if we apply a high magnetic field, you can see uh, this kind of spin dependent uh, phenomena also disappears. So we can conclude that this kind of uh, spin dependent phenomena is, is due to the uh, spin selective angular re reflection induced by manual zero mode. Yeah, he, uh, finally, I will uh, uh, emphasize all the evidence we observed are consistent. Uh, only on this thick film and uh, when we apply a small magnetic field, when we apply, uh, we see, can see the high intensity of this uh, zero mass peak. We can also see that this uh, peak split from a distance away. And uh, we can also see the, the, the this spin dependent uh, angular free refraction. But if we apply a high magnetic field, this intensity drop, then this uh, uh, zero mass peak splitting goes back to zero, and uh, also this uh, spin dependent phenomena disappear. So all the evidence for minority mode comes together and disappear together. Uh, here I want to uh, explain why high magnetic field can uh, eliminate this uh, manual zero mode. The reason is like this. When we increase the magnetic field, the distance between two vortex becomes smaller and uh, smaller. At uh, this uh, point of one eight Tesla, uh, the distance between two vortex is only about 100 uh, nanometers. As we uh, can uh, see from uh, previous uh, measurement, the size of manual zero mode is, is actually four, 40 nanometers. So at this distance, the interaction between two manual zero mode becomes strong enough. This kind of interaction will, will eliminate themselves since uh, they are particle and antiparticle, so they, they will eliminate each other. So this is also a, a, a good evidence for, for this uh, uh, manual zero mode. Uh, here, I want to answer another question is, uh, since I, uh, at the beginning, I said uh, at, uh, for three quantum layer film, the topologic surface state is already formed, but we only uh, can see the Manual zero mode for four uh, for layer film or, or seeker. Mm. 
the reason is like this: for three quantum layer film, uh, all all of the, the surface state forms we see this U shape, yeah, the we call, but at this thickness, the filmy surface is very still very high. And so at this thick, uh, at this situation, the contribution is many from the, the back carrier. Uh, for for quantum layer film, you can see the film surface move to the bottom of uh, uh, connecting band. So at this state, we can see both contribution from back area and the surface state. For five quantum layer film, you can see this film surface already moving uh, gap, only cutting to the surface state. So in this case, we we can see the uh, uh, manual mode uh, more clearly. Yeah, here is some uh, new uh, evidence. Uh, yeah, uh, here is a uh, uh, theoretical uh, uh, paper. Uh, that if we uh, detect the this manual mode with the shoe clamp tip, we can we will see uh, two peaks at the, the, instead of one peak at zero energy, and we will also see electron hole symmetry, and uh, also we can see a, a special uh, connection plateau. Uh, and uh, here we 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 did the. Uh, uh, the measurement with with uh, the uh, super connective, and we see these two peaks. You can see when we apply a magnetic field, is small magnetic field. This two peak is very stable, and only a distance away they they they, they starting the peak starting moves. But for large, uh, if we increase point one five tesla. Uh, yeah, same situation. This is stable for a distance, then uh, it moves. But uh, if we apply a high magnet, point of one eight Tesla, at this magnet field, the manual zero mode already gone. You can see this peak moves at the beginning. Uh, and also, you can see. Uh, uh, when we have manual mode, this uh, particle symmetry is perfect, almost the same. And uh, here is, is we have more evidence. Is for this S wave ship connect, we can see uh, the, the mountain like uh, spatial distribution. But for this, uh, uh, if we have a manual zero mode, we did see this. Uh, uh, connecting plateau. You can see here. Yeah, uh, actually, uh, this one is not related to manual zero mode, but uh, uh, it's it's a new physics for logic shift now. So uh, I will uh, spend five minutes to, to talk a, a little bit about that. Actually, for uh, a BCS shift connector. Uh, a large current will will will, will create a uh, gapless Bergoglio both quasi particle. Or what's uh, yeah? This means if we apply a small magnetic field or apply a, a shift current, the gap will be uh, be filled. We have a, a gapless uh, shift connect state. But this kind of uh, uh, surface state uh, never been observed. So we did, uh, uh, we use our system, Pismas and on um, Army uh, We uh, we found that when we are using implant magnetic field to induce this uh, super current, then we can see this kind of. Uh, Segmented uh, uh, surface. Yeah, here is the the the, the, the uh, gapless uh, superconductor state. 
uh, you can see when we apply a, a small magnetic field, you can see this gap becomes small. Uh, uh, this means uh, we have state in, in this gap. This uh, uh, is a uh, uh, wall for a quasi particle. If we increase the uh, magnetic field, you can see the, the more state comes and uh, uh, yeah. And uh, you can see also see some uh, finer structures. Actually, uh, we can use a model to calculate this kind of uh, uh, states. You can see uh, uh, this B line is a calculated uh, density of state. You can see the agreement uh, with our uh, uh, experiment is, is perfect. Also, uh, if we apply a magnetic field along a gamma m direction, you can see almost the same situation. And this modeling and this model calculation is also the same. Uh, also, you can see the agreement is quite good. And uh, if we do a cross particle uh, Interfering pattern, you will see we can we can see this uh, famous uh, surface. Uh, we do zero energy mapping, and so this one is the famous surface. Uh, when we apply small magnetic field, uh, when we apply magnetic field around different uh, direction, you can see this two uh, uh, branch become uh, more bright. Actually, uh, this this kind of things is due to this uh, the Fermi surface is uh, mo modulated is gapped. You can see here uh, for uh, if we don't apply magnetic field, uh, you can see the Fermi surface is is uh, full uh, is, and uh, so so this kind of pattern is, is uh, we can see all these six. Uh, interference uh, pattern. But if we apply uh, a magnetic field, we can only uh, we can see this two direction become uh, uh, strong. And uh, this means uh, in this direction, the, the, the Fermi surface is a uh, gap. If we, we change the, uh, we rotate the, 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 the uh, magnetic field by 90 degrees C, you can see uh, this uh, four uh, uh, leaves become strong, the intensity. And uh, this means also you can see this uh, in, this, yeah, in this direction uh, is become gapped. So by this experiment, uh, we, we give the first direct evidence for this uh, uh, for global beam surface, and uh, uh, this one is uh, uh, also give a, a new way to control the topological phase uh, of the superconduct, and uh, this could be a, a, a new uh, platform for studying manual bound state. And uh, yeah, finally, I will talk a little bit about uh, the possible application of uh, in topological quantum computing. Yeah, uh, our system has uh, this uh, some advantage for this topological quantum, quantum computing. Uh, one is uh, this system is very simple. You know, only your own what you you need to do is only putting the topological. Uh, in film on top of ship connection substrate. And uh, we only need to uh, apply a very small magnetic field, this and quantum wind Tesla. And uh, in this system, the film level can be tuned. We don't, we don't need to uh, uh, use gate to tune the film surface. And uh, our major zero mode uh, is protected by ship current gap. And, uh, we can increase this gap by increasing the PC of the substrate. Uh, so we can also increase the, 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 the temperature of this, this uh, topological chip connect. And uh, since uh, 
uh, our uh, surface state is 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 from topologic insulated. So this uh, surface state is not infected uh, by impurity. Uh, so it's it's uh, robust. Uh, the most important thing is, is uh, our uh, system is 2D system is on a surface. So the, the, the vortex is easy to manipulate. Uh, yeah. Uh, so the next step before the, uh, we can use the manualization mode to uh, quantum computing, we have to bring in them uh, to, to prove non abiding statistic. Actually, uh, more vortex is have already been uh, proved. Here you can see uh, they can using this uh, scan script to move vortex uh, from this side uh, to this side. You can see when vortex is moved from here to here without uh, disturbing other vortex. They, they can even uh, move using vortex to, to, to make this work. So uh, yeah, we can using uh, mm, Spin, uh, yeah, uh, but, uh, uh, probe. We can use a uh, uh, probe to move this kind of uh, vortex, but uh, use a probe to move vortex is slow and uh, it's difficult. Uh, here, we, we will give uh, a new proposal to move. Uh, Vortex using electric electronic field. Yeah, what, what uh, our idea uh, our idea is is like this. We can using this uh, kind of uh, electric magnetic uh, effect uh, material using this kind of material. Uh, actually, uh, this kind of material, if we apply a magnetic uh, electric field, they can generate. Uh, uh, magnetic momentum uh, and uh, uh, give out a small magnetic field. Uh, so we can we can make uh, put this uh, kind of material between topological insulator and a lot of uh, ele electrode, and uh, uh, we can apply. Uh, Electric magnetic mag uh, field between this uh, topological chip connect and this kind of electrode. Then at this local uh, place, we will have a uh, uh, local uh, magnetic field uh, difference. Uh, things uh, vortex always like a, a move to the uh, long tube connecting uh, area. So if you have uh, this local place have a uh, uh, stronger magnetic field, vortex will move to this place. So we can make this kind of uh, pattern uh, or this kind of things on, on the back, uh, back side of this material. Uh, then on this kind of uh, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, this two line are electrodes. So at the, the cross, so if we apply a magnet, uh, electric field, then we can pin a vortex here. Then uh, at the, yeah, this place, we can uh, uh, make another vortex. Then we can move uh, uh, our relativity give a magnet, uh, electric field, then this vortex will move along this uh, direction. And then we can move using this electric field to control the, 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 the braiding. Yeah, this is uh, all of my talk. Finally, I will give a, a summarize. Uh, yeah, we can make a, a Artificial topology should connect uh, by proximity effect. Uh, what we need to do is only putting the topologic ship connect on top of uh, ship connect of uh, topologic insulator thin film on ship connect substrate. 
and from zero energy and uh, tone like uh, spatial distribution and uh, spin directive energy reflection we, we prove what we observed is the manual zero mode. We also found uh, by controlling this interaction between two vortex, we can turn on and off the manual zero mode. Also, uh, our material have some advantage for topological quantum uh, qubit uh, uh, application. Yeah, finally, I would like to thank my co-works. This professor is, uh, was uh, my group lead in Tsinghua and IOPG. And, uh, and uh, yeah, in his group, we started from uh, the study from uh, for, for topological insulate. Chan uh, Hua Liu, Yao Yi, and Chen Dong are my group member in SJTU. Uh, Zhu Wan Xu is a professor in Zhejiang University. He provides us a lot of nalbium cellulite crystal. The spin polarized STM was done in um, South Chinese group in Nanjing University. Fu Liang and all these people are theoreticians. They give us a lot of uh, theoretic support. Uh, those uh, are students in my group. Uh, that did uh, uh, all experiment. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. All right, Professor Jack, uh, thank you very much for the exciting talk. So now we have some time for discussions. So for all the uh, professors, uh, students uh, in the Zoom, please uh, remember to unmute your microphone before you raise a question, all right? So let's start. Uh, any questions? Maybe I'll start with a, a few short ones, uh, you know, to stimulate these discussions. Um, you know, first of all, on the sample side, I have uh, some quick questions. So the niobium um, uh, sunlight sample, you started with, uh, for your MB growth, you, you started from a bulk crystal or is actually uh, also MB sample you grown first at high temperature? Uh, we start from crystal. Oh, start we, from we cleave the, the nabium cellular crystal in vacuum, then we, 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 we deposit a uh, uh, yeah, DI spacing film on top. That's, uh, yeah, that will be easier. Okay, okay, I see. Now, uh, in uh, the, uh, quite a few places, you, you presented that uh, the Majorana uh, zero mode become um, uh, pronounced only beyond three quantum values, particularly you show five, for example. So we know that the bismuth telluride, uh, I mean, the bulk, um, the, this material has, for example, each uh, lattice constant actually run across uh, three quantum values, right? So any, there, are there any particular reason that, uh, you know, the material has to be, for example, thicker than three or five? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, there are uh, things for this bismuth period. Uh, we have to to uh, make uh, the, the film six and three quant uh, quantum layer. Since only six and three quantum layer, this uh, this material become topologically insulated. If mm. thinner than three quantum layer, the, the, the due to the interaction between, between top surface state and the bottom surface state, mm -hmm. this way. Not a topological insulate. Okay. Uh, and uh, but uh, uh, for uh, observing the magnetic mode, the thickness should be thicker than uh, four quantum layers. That's the reason mm. is the, the uh, film level. Uh, since only at the uh, uh, thicker than four quantum layer, the, the film level move to the uh, moving to the cap. Then uh -huh. we can see the contribution from uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. major mode. Okay, all right. So basically, yeah. can I say that it, it is a interplay between the proximity effect and also the uh, topological insulating properties of the bismuth telluride itself? 
Yeah, uh, yes, the ideal case should be only uh, if we can only make uh, uh, the topologic surface state should be connecting, no mm -hmm. other bulk state uh, interfering, that's the ideal case. But uh, okay. actually, we, 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 can, we have, <laughs> we, have <laughs> we, okay. we cannot make a yeah. uh, surf topologic surface state. Okay, okay. Uh, Okay, since, since you do not have a gate here, um, so the tuning of the Fermi level, uh, is it primarily due to some intrinsic defects, uh, like for example, vacancies in the materials? Yes, actually, yeah, yeah you are quite, uh, uh, yeah, correct. Uh, and uh, uh, actually, at the interface between superconductor and the topological insulator, there is a band bending. That's I why uh, yeah. you can see the Fermi level uh, changes with with the thickness. Mm. You oh, can yeah. see yeah. here. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, since work function between them are different, there yeah. is yeah. a charge transfer from. Okay. Yeah. So okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Plus interface. To, to yeah. Yeah. All right, so I'll, I'll stop here uh, and let, let uh, give the chance to the audience. Any questions? Do we have any further questions from our audience, from a student? Have, uh, uh, I have a short question. Uh, mm -hmm. Related to the sample side, you, as you mentioned. So, uh, is there any uh, uh, particular treatment for your exploration process? Because surface is very sensitive, like you said, maybe selenium is doing exploration and then loading mm. the MBE side. Is there any mm -hmm. uh, process to treat this surface? And what is, is there any critical thickness for the silicon particle layer? Yeah, that's uh, it. Uh, for yeah, well, actually, all experiments uh, were done in vacuum. Uh, so only uh, also the uh, ship connect substrate was uh, cleaved in vacuum. So so we don't mm. have uh, yeah uh, any way to to clean the surface since all the surfaces are clean. Okay, so it's, okay. It's do that you do that everything in situ. Yeah, we do everything in situ, yeah. Mm. Well, what's your second question? Uh, the second question is the thickness of the superconducting layer is, is critical or is it doesn't matter? Oh, no. Uh, the, the superconductor is back crystal. The thickness is... is, is, is doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, it's not matter. Yeah. Okay. Any any more questions? Uh, okay, I'll, I'll, if if no more, I'll raise a final one. It's again out of the uh, because many of those uh, so far. I mean, this this uh, uh, excitement is on you know topological quantum computing for for this. So uh, so the the at, at this moment it's still at a low temperature. So what is in your opinion, what is the major direction to go if we want to make this something really practical towards quantum computing? Or, you know, people are happy with this, this low temperature and we put everything in the dilution refrigerator. Uh, actually, for this topological quantum computing, the temperature uh, could be increased. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, for example, in our case, uh, our temperature is uh, 400 millikelvin, not that uh, low like uh, 10 millikelvin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and, but if you can increase the TC of uh, this uh, TS uh, topological ship connector, uh, maybe we can we can even increase uh, the temperature to, to Kelvin. Ah, uh, yeah. I think, uh, yeah, the, the, the critical thing is we have to prove this this one. We, we can bring this, uh, this uh, 
natural zero mode and uh, demonstrate this non-abelian uh, property. Mm. Mm. If if uh, yeah, uh, we can achieve this, uh, I think we can do a lot of things. We can make a, a yeah a quantum uh, be okay. a topological quantum, then we can make this topological quantum computer. Mm. Uh, top, the advantage of topological quantum computing is we don't uh, need uh, to uh, uh, error correction things. Uh, yeah, it's when, tolerant. Uh, it's a uh, four tolerant. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's already uh, yeah four, four tolerance. Mm. Okay. All right. So so. Um, it is already quite late for Professor Jia in Florida. So uh, please join me together to thank Professor Jia for his wonderful talk. Um, thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Okay. So now the, 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 the seminar is, is finished. So you can actually uh, just disconnect. Hey, Jia, let's 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 let